My father used to work as a, as a family doctor and he was always very interested in all natural scientific topics. So that, that started even with a telescope on our terrace to watch moon craters, that was normal. Or logic puzzles during breakfast time was also normal. So it was uh, in fact a very special family surrounding. And he, he very much influenced me. So when I was searching for, for something uh, for, for like a job profile, I searched for something to combine these things I have learned from my father. And um, so, um, in fact, mathematics was just by instance. Uh, it was, um, I was searching for a job profile where I could combine medicine, mathematics, engineering, whatever. And I found out during, uh, during university that um, there are other possibilities. So this interesting um, interdisciplinary study path where you could combine things like uh, biotechnology, I didn't knew, uh, know before, uh, or uh, medical engineering, um, or applied mathematics combined with one of the others. So I found out there are these study paths. And so in fact, I, I quit it after some uh, semesters I quitted the teaching degree and joined an interdisciplinary research group. Applied mathematics gave me, from my point of view, a perfect starting point. So um, applied mathematics uh, gives you a, a competence in uh, analyzing extremely complex systems of functions and breaking them down to logical sequences or even down to software. And so this is very close, from an abstract point of view, very close to what I do today. So today I'm responsible for, for a department um, uh, which is taking care of uh, system and software engineering for hybrid and electrical vehicles. So we met the, make the electric vehicle running. So this is the drivetrain of an electric vehicle, which is an extremely complex system because you have power electronics, an e-machine, a huge amount of software, running to coordinate everything in the electric vehicle and so this is uh, something where I can work exactly um, in this mode I, I wanted to work. So we have a wide range of engineers of different disciplines, physicists, um, mathematicians, uh, whatever, working together in order to understand what are the requirements of mobility in the next 20 years how should a, a car move in the next 20 years and then break this down to very detailed requirements and specifications for hardware and software modules in order to realize it. And so there's no pure mathematic inside, but I would say um, I learned a lot to, to simplify, to, um, to structure things and so on, so it was a good starting point. And applied mathematics gives you um, a good insight in software structures, of course. And this is, uh, this is very helpful for, for my job today. Very helpful. But uh, in fact, I, I don't work as a, as a pure mathematician. But this is exactly what I like. Mathematics is something that gets at its best when you combine it with the others. Then you can use it really to apply it on real problems. That's, that's the most interesting part. In fact, the, the most fascinating thing that uh, there was there was a situation during during my study and that um, I experienced that uh, several times again afterwards was uh, to find out how many things in nature we still don't understand. So even when you come to the genetic code uh, of, of human beings, when you come to pure mathematics, there are still things which are not proven. So nobody knows why and nobody knows if our understanding of physics is correct and really fitting to real life. And so there is a wide range where we don't understand the world and where we could make it better. So um, when I was looking for a job, I was looking for something that, that makes sense. So where I, can, um, where, I can my, where I can invent something for people's life. So something that makes people's life more healthy, uh, easier, more comfortable, safer, whatever. So something that the people can use. And um, this is a, there's such a wide range. And whenever you come to this point where you say, oh, nobody asked this question before. This is something you cannot read in a book. You will not find an engineer who can answer this question. You have to start from scratch. And this is, this is so fascinating that you can, you can in fact shape, shape future, invent things products that have never been on the market before.
this is uh, makes a lot of fun so you can really um, you can influence how, how the world will look like within the next 20 years. In fact, when, uh, when we work on projects and we have something very fascinating or very um, important to do, everybody forgets about time. So it's not like this uh, thing that many people talk about, they come at nine and leave at five. This is not the mode that we are working in. So we are very flexible in working time. So we have times where we stay almost all day long and afterwards they take a day off. But um, a normal day, in fact, uh, looks really like this. Um, when you think about a process, how a product uh, is developed, um, you start with uh, user stories. In our case, the car. What does it drive? How does a car feel within the next 10 years? So user stories, requirements. And then you break them down. OK, in order that the car uh, will drive like this or will behave like this, um, what does the drive train um, has to provide, which functions. And then you break that down, you discuss it in teams, in mixed teams, because you always need all disciplines. You need the software guys, you need the mathematicians, you need the engineers uh, and so on. You need them all together uh, in order to break it down from this user story down to a product. And then you de develop that, you test it, you put it again together and then when it finally runs and behaves like you expected, that's really, that's a the nicest moment. So you can sit in this electric vehicle and it runs like hell. It makes fun. And an electric vehicle makes a lot of fun. Time is just so... Time management is, I would say, the most crucial point. Um, but uh, besides this, of course, I, um, I influence my whole family and I would say my friends around me because I'm talking about electric vehicles all day long. So they have to stop me once in a while because when, it, when we sit Saturday evening, very relaxed, drinking a glass of wine, and I'm still talking about electric vehicles, they sometimes have to say, okay, just, just stop it and talk about the weather or whatever.